Got something to say? Just head to knlive.com during the broadcast and click on the Connect Now button at the top of the live window. You can log on using your existing social media accounts or just enter your name on the box to the left. You can write your comments there or send us what you're thinking on video. It's that picture from the Oscars on Sunday night that just won't go away. The selfie of the Hollywood stars that broke Twitter, at least temporarily. And of course, every paper in the country wanted to run it. So the Associated Press asked Oscar host Ellen DeGeneres for permission to use it. But did they ask the right person? As it turns out, Ellen might not actually own the rights to the famous selfie. After all, the true owner of the photo might actually be the guy that took the picture, actor Bradley Cooper thanks to a particular quirk of copyright law. But it's got us thinking, if it's so easy to lose ownership of something as simple as a selfie, what else is beyond our control online? How much of what we post to the internet do we actually own? Let's bring in internet lawyer Gil Zabuloni. So tell me this, uh, who owns that picture? The photographer. The photographer, not Ellen, who owned the camera. No. No, person, person who takes the photo is the, the creator of that photo. We were having this discussion today, and I was really shocked to hear this because I thought, well, wait a minute, she owns the camera. It's her property. The photo was taken with her camera. I didn't realize that the, uh, the, the author, so to speak, of the photo was the one that actually owns it. If I write a book with your pen, mm -hmm. does that make you the owner of the copyright? Right. That's what it comes down to, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. It's, the, it's, it's the creative work. The creative work happened with, uh, with the photographer. What about, let's take it the next step here, uh, when we go on Facebook and we post photos of ourselves on Facebook or we send something up on Twitter, I mean, who owns that? So the, the person who originally owns it still owns it. So in the case of the, the, the photo uh, from the Oscars, the photographer owned it. Uh, he gave permission to Ellen to, to share it with the world, and she did. Mm -hmm. And uh, in doing so, she gave Twitter permission. She didn't transfer any ownership. She just simply gave Twitter permission gave the permission that she got from the owner of the copyright, from the photographer, she gave that permission to Twitter. Do you think most people realize all this, though? Like, just the, the average person, do they realize who owns what out there? No, I, I, think, I think what, you know, the, 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 the idea that you had, that, you know, it's my camera, mm. I hear that a lot. Right. I hear that a lot. The law doesn't look at it that way. I think um, people really don't pay much attention to who owns this, the photos until there are photos out there that people are misusing that they want to control. Let's say I have a photo out there that somebody took of me and I don't like the photo. I don't like what I'm wearing, I'm having a bad hair day, whatever it is. Uh, how can I get them to take it down? So usually you cannot unless uh, they're using that photo by, um, in a way that infringes on your publicity rights. You're, you're a public personality, uh, maybe they're using it in an improper way. Um, possibly uh, it may be a violation of your privacy rights if they're infringing on your privacy, you know, they took that picture uh, while you were in, at home or something along those lines, uh, then, you know, that usage may be improper. But if you're just walking down the street, mm. uh, a la Rob Ford or something like that, you know, and, and somebody snaps a shot of you and you don't like that shot, tough luck. Tough luck. Buy the shot. Buy the photo. Buy the shot. Buy the photo to take control of it. Okay, what about, here's another scenario. Uh, I post an idea for a book or a movie uh, on Facebook. Uh, some kind of idea that I've got, some creative thing, and somebody takes it. I mean, could I say that person stole my idea? They may have stolen the idea, but you have no recourse in law. There's no, there's no protection in law of ideas. Ideas flow freely, with the exception of patents. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's, that's something that the government has to pre-approve. So if you go ahead and you post something on Facebook, uh, an idea for a book, and somebody goes and writes that book, the person who wrote the book has the legal protection, not the person who came up with the idea. Uh, there's no copyright in ideas. There's only copyright in the expression of those ideas. Does Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you name it, do they own the pictures? No. No, they have, uh, they have a right to the pictures that is close to ownership. It's, uh, it's permission that the copyright owner gives to these services that is very extensive, very broad. 
it's it's almost akin to ownership, but legally it's it's not right. It's not quite there. But in practice, it allows them to still use it uh, almost as it, if. The, the only key difference between ownership and the permissions that they get is that it's non-exclusive. Mm. So ownership would be I have the right to exclude everybody from using it, with certain exceptions. Has the law kept up with technology? Um, you know, technology is moving quickly. Sometimes right. yes, sometimes no. Um, th there are black holes in the law where, where there are things that are not so clear. Mm. Gil, thanks for coming in and sharing your uh, viewpoint with My us. My pleasure. Appreciate Thank it. you. All right, next. Uh